So, <clears throat> this is a panel that I built back around the year 2000. And um, I just wanted to get this on video. Um, that was the system that I would play the games off of. But it would play the original arcade games. And I'm thinking about um, buying one that they already make and put together. And it, it's... Uh, it's a full size unit and uh, I was originally going to try to build one myself using these components but nowadays the way they can do things it's just much it's a much better way to do it so I always wondered how I would take out that screen and then get it to fit in an um, arcade enclosure properly. I mean, that's what they used to use were these old, what they call CRTs. And now, <clears throat> when you buy them, that's like an LCD panel or LED. I'm not sure which. But I wanted to catch something on this that uh, I thought was pretty cool. So all the buttons, everything is something that you would find at an actual arcade. In fact, I went to a place that's sold parts, and that's where I got everything. <clears throat> um, they do have joysticks that will change between 4 position and 8 position. And <clears throat> uh, nowadays they do, and I'm just kind of getting back up to speed on this stuff. But back in the day... I think, if I, if I recall correctly, underneath, inside here, when they build the unit, because each arcade unit was its own unit, right? Pac-Man is Pac-Man. Uh, there would be a little template underneath here. And if you can imagine, it's kind of like a, it's shaped like a square, but rotated 45 degrees. So when I go to press to the right, it almost kind of, leads me into that corner and I found out right now it's in the four position so you can kind of see up oh, and I'll follow see it goes you can hear it go from the up click to the right click to the lower click to the left and then back. That's important. I didn't realize how important that was. So, uh, if you're playing a game like Miss Pac-Man and you know you're moving, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go up. It's too easy if this is an eight position for it to click two. Like if you don't hit it just perfect, you are gonna miss. So you're gonna miss where you want to turn. Um, there's other games that are similar like that, and uh, I think Donkey Kong. It, anyway, it gets very frustrating. You, you just don't want to play. So what I did is I built a um, little gadget on the side. Now when I flip that switch, now it's gone from a rotated square to a larger square. See, and I can't I can go into the corners now it's hard to hear but it's you can hear two clicking instead of one so now I go left right up down up left up right down left down right there's a lot of eight-way games out there and again, if this thing was stuck to just four positions, you couldn't go diagonal when you want to. So I want to capture <clears throat> what I had done to make this work. This is old school. This right here is a keyboard. It just has the guts pulled out, and then I um, figured out what the matrix basically was for each letter or number I needed. 
and then just ran random to the corresponding buttons. Um, I had some on the side here also that would allow because it's an emulator so it's it's just like an arcade game it's looking for a coin well instead of putting a coin in uh, well the coin would fall and hit a lever and um, electronically it would uh, pick up a, a quarter hit in the arm so there's a button here for uh, credits and then uh, select and one for escape so we can get out and play another game there's a trackball, <clears throat> an actual trackball, and then this was the guts of an old mouse. The old mouse had a rubber ball in the center. If you're old enough to remember, those were kind of a pain in the butt because you have to pop it open, clean the little, clean the little ball every once in a while, because or the little rollers it would uh, roll on. So I took the guts of it and some of the mechanics. That's how I got my trackball to work. Now, <clears throat> here we are looking at the bottom of the joystick. I just zoomed in when I didn't mean to. So you got double clicking. And it works the same way. These are... Every, every one of these buttons just has a simple um, micro switch. So when you hit the buttons, it closes and it reads it. So this one is um, button number four. It's actually on the keyboard five. And up underneath this deck here, it has the same exact micro switches. But there's only. Um, four of them so when the, the input gets two inputs like that it knows to go to diagonal <clears throat> so anyway I built this entire thing that goes around it it has a shut off limit switch on each side these gears and everything so when I flip the switch you see these aluminum arms come in See, now I can't go into the corner, so I can only go left, right, up, down. And it turns until it hits one of these limit switches or screws I just put in. So anyway, I didn't want to document this because it's, uh, it's old. It's about to be replaced completely. The old system died. It was designed... So, I hardwired both the keyboard and the mouse to go into this box. And then the box had a mouse and a keyboard input. <clears throat> so, all I had to do was flip the switch. And I could go from my control panel to the keyboard and mouse to use the computer the way it would normally be used anyway <clears throat> since it's about to um, probably be all scrapped now because it, it doesn't work and it's just 20 years old um, I wanted to capture what I had done back in the day <clears throat> 